Okay, so welcome back. Now we're going to do uh, a few examples. This is going to be the first one. Here's what we're going to do. So I'm just going to do the proof. The proofs are nice and short if you don't count the scratch work. So you're going to see two parts of it. Okay, so let's start. Okay, and you'll notice that throughout my proof, I'm just following those steps. So here's my proof. Okay. Um, now, in this case, I'm going to do my scratch work first. So let's do the scratch work. So I need, so I'm going to start with, um, so I'm going to put scratch work over here. Again, this is good and important to do. Even on an exam, when I'm grading your stuff, I'm going to want to see your work. I'm going to want to see how you're thinking. The only way I know what you're thinking is if I see your work. And this is, the scratch work is part of your work. Okay? Um, so now, so I'm going to start off with um, absolute value of f of x minus l is less than epsilon. Okay? That's, I'm always going to start there. So now, what is f of x. So f of x is 4x plus 1 minus L, which is negative 3, is less than epsilon. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simplify this and what am I looking for? I'm looking for absolute value of x minus a negative 1 or x plus 1. That's what I'm looking for. So let's do it. So now I'm going to go, so this is going to be plus 1, so this is going to be plus 3, right? So this is going to become 4x plus 4, absolute value is less than epsilon. Now look at that. Look at that. Now I can factor out a 4, and I've got it. So the absolute value of 4 times x plus 1 is less than epsilon. Now I can factor out the 4 because it's constant. This is just going to be 4 times um, the absolute value of x plus 1 is less than epsilon. And so guess what? The absolute value of x, so notice what's going on. This, this is equivalent to this, which 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 is less than epsilon over 4. Okay, now, this is my delta. So now, I'm going to go to the proof. Now I'm done. I, now watch what I'm going to do. I'm basically, my analysis is going to go up, from bottom up. So now, here's my proof. Notice how short the proof is once I know what I'm doing. Okay, so, first of all, let epsilon be greater than zero, choose delta equal to what? Epsilon over 4, okay, which is greater than zero, right? Because epsilon is greater than zero. Now, guess what? Now, assume what? Zero is less than the absolute value of x plus one, which is less than delta, which is equivalent to what? Well, now I'm going to manipulate this, right? So this is zero epsilon um, which is um, x plus 1, which is less than epsilon over 4, okay, which is equivalent to what? 0 epsilon now I'm going to multiply both sides by 4, right? So I can get rid of the 0 here because it's always going to be 0, right? So this is going to be 4 times x plus 1, which is less than epsilon, which is then equivalent to what? Now I can bring it in because it's just constant. So 4 
x plus 4, which is less than epsilon, which is then equivalent to, now this is where, again, I need to get it back up here, right? So now I'm going to split it up. So see how I'm just going upwards. So now this is going to be 4x uh, plus 1. Um, plus 3, right? Now, I, can, I want a subtraction here. So all I have to do is change this to a subtraction, and I'm done. So the absolute value of 4x plus 1 minus a negative 3, absolute value sign, and now I've got it, and that has to be less than epsilon, and I'm done because if I let epsilon be greater than 0, and I choose delta to be epsilon greater than 4, which is going to be greater than 0, then guess what? If I assume this is true, then it automatically gives me that this is automatically true, which is exactly the conditional I need. And so therefore, the limit as x approaches uh, what is it? One, uh, negative 1, of 4x plus 1 equals negative 3. And I'm done. And this is Latin QED. That's another way to end the proof by saying that uh, that which was set out to be demonstrated. Okay? So I'm done. Or sometimes you get a box, a shaded in box like I did in the last proof. Okay, that's it. Have a great day.